You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We, we're asking you. What money came from the store? Just the hundreds. Just the hundreds, not the tens inside no. here? On June 6, 2023, officers from Broward County responded to a call where a Walmart cashier was accused of stealing thousands of dollars from her register. Initially, the scheme involved the cashier shortchanging customers when given large bills, netting her $200 to $300 daily. Eventually, the cashier advanced her theft skills, leading to her stealing between $500 and $1,000 each day. I hate this, but... We need your help, man. We got a, we had a stain. We have somebody that stole over five thousand dollars. Okay. You guys have? Yeah. Today they have? Yeah, it's right now. Right now, it's an accident. Oh. Yes, it's happening right now. So uh, we're doing the exit interview, and um, so the person is sitting down right now. In the in the office. In the yeah. office. Okay. Waiting. Um, okay. And so cameras already been rolled. Evidence has already been collected. When officers arrived, two undercover employees at the Walmart devised a plan posing as customers to catch the suspect in the act. The suspect would steal over $1,500 in just a few hours of the starting shift. Came back to work? She did something with someone in the parking lot. Okay. All right. All right. So it started. Yeah, so. Why are you going to just take, her, take, take him to Jennifer? Okay. All right. you, you guys want to press charges, though? Yeah. Okay, absolutely. all right. I'm, I'm waiting for my partner to come, and then we'll... Oh, we'll okay. Come. Just, all right, cool. Yeah, I had... Uh, I'm trying to have this stalled a little bit longer. Just yeah, yeah. I had... Um, I had... Uh, I called Farino. Okay, Farino. Farafino. Farafino, yeah. yeah. He's my buddy, man. So we met, and <laughs> so we connected. So we're trying to do this whole thing where, you know, we, we bring you guys in, not when we got problems, but, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to do, you know, appreciation and just, you know, just... You know, have customer appreciation, plus we're doing the store over, you know, so we want you guys to be around and Absolutely. just know that, you know, yeah, we're in for the that. We don't want to have issues, you know, and, um, but this young lady, which, you know, my boss who's over it, because me and him, uh, you know, we go from store to store to do investigations and audits. So, so originally on 519, it started with her stealing. She hasn't even been here two months. Mm -hmm. So, you know, obviously when a person starts stealing, so that was the first time, yeah, so. First thing is shoplifting, not paying for stuff, $200. And then over the past several weeks, our register has been missing, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 1,800. So when, they, when people get newly hired, they're allowed access to just work as cashiers? Not normally. They normally, you know, they, they do something else. They're not handling so much cash. And for whatever reason, I guess, you know, people thought she was trustworthy and that we could trust her. And she was, you know, allowed to handle a lot of cash. What's her name? Okay. But we have all of that all stuff. Okay. Yeah, all of that stuff is, is, in, the, uh, is in the office. You know, so we got a whole package and stuff. Perfect. It's frustrating because, you know, I'm an older guy, man, and you know, people see us because we, we, we're kind of undercover. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you just hate doing this, man. It's, Absolutely. It's a you, pain give, in you give people a job to work and they try to fight, you know, the, fight the hand that feeds them. You know, it's a pain in the ass, man. No, I hear you. It's, it sucks, but I mean, it's, part of, it's, um, it's the bad part of the job. Yeah, man. I mean, the good you know, thing is when like good good things happen always sometimes bad yeah. stuff comes to it. Yeah, you know. always be Yeah, you know. Uh... Can you go back there? Um, if I go front, I'm going to be able to try to avoid what No, no, we have to come first for our safety. I don't want to be chasing this. Okay. 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 Ok
I mean, is there a, is there a back? There is a back. Okay. You want to put your car on back? Yeah, I'll hold it. So do you guys have um, everything, all the information? Do you have the receipts? I have all the information. It was, well, it wasn't receipts, really. It was cash. Oh, it was cash. Right? Yeah. Okay. So um, I think he mentioned something about an affidavit. Okay. I'll go ahead and grab the affidavit. Okay. Because you guys have, just, because I don't know I anything about the case. I have 13 different stores, so I, gotcha. you guys are the first ones that have asked for that from Pompano. So gotcha. if, you, if it's something that you guys always require, I can have them save it. And okay. Perfect. We'll do that going forward. How much, how much cash is it? Um, around seven thousand. So I have five thousand of it documented, but she okay. admitted to the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and document that to them, okay. and I can send that to you guys. Gotcha, gotcha. But she has a cash here somewhere. She said it's at she the smoke shop. She has it somewhere, yeah, in the smoke shop. So we know what? what? She smoke took fifteen hundred today. So it's. She said it's by the smoke shop. So I don't know if it's by the smoke shop over there. Well, why don't we ask her before we do? Okay. Yeah, we'll find you the Yeah. Oh, Swanson sent out. You want me to help Chris? No, I got it. Okay. I'll, I'll show you everything they did. Everything's yeah, easy. Okay, okay easy perfect. Easy PC yeah. and sounds good. Uh, so let's grab her and it's she'll walk. It's in the parking lot. It's in park another lot. store. Yeah, the smoke shop's at oh, 1239 or something like that. She stashed it there. I uh, couldn't. Let's just. She has to know somebody there. That would be my guess. So question is, uh, is Siya going to do the PC or? Is Siya going to do the PC or? Just to have her tell. You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We, we're asking you. What money came from the store? Just the hundred. Just the hundred is not the tens right no. here. How, how much is there? These two, are these theirs too? Mm -hmm. On top of this? No. That, um, Is that unless she just in the took more. Unless she oh, took these more. Because it's a higher charge. Yeah. It's, um, it's so, 7,000 total that I found that she might have took more. Because when we did the audit, it was only 1,500. When we did the audit, it was only 1,500. Well, so she must have took more. So we'll ask her. My mom lost her bedroom. Ma'am, is your ID in your wallet? No ID. You don't have an ID? No. Do you have a 43? Do you go ahead? Yeah. Alright, ma'am, what's your first name? Common spelling, S A. A. What's your last name? Hotel, hotel, hotel. Sorry, say that again. How do you spell that? B Y S S E I. All right, just hang tight, okay? When do, when do I go down to the station? We're going to go to the station in probably five minutes. The woman was taken safely to the police station and charged with a major felony. Grand theft of more than $10,000. We've added an extra clip. Wait until you hear the reason why she was stealing from her job. We'll call this chapter Confessions of a Not-So-Smart Thief. Yeah, all your stuff's out there right now. I'm writing all the paperwork for you. Will someone be in here? Yeah, he's coming in right now, dude. Oh. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm just cold. Yeah. Are you sick? Mm -mm. Okay, you just prefer to have it. Yeah, when, oh. I, when I was at work, I just don't like to have it on because oh, a lot of old people come in and I don't play that. Oh, yeah. So. I want to talk to you about everything that happened today. How long have you been working at Walmart? Two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. So that pr right before your birthday or? Right after. Right after? It was probably a month then. Okay. Where'd you work before that? Four months. 
Which one? So they have the, not that one, the one that's run by a gas station. Is that all the way up north? No, it's not too far from a public, you know, public Hillsboro Square. Oh, all the way up there. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. happened over there? Why'd you leave? Isn't that one closer to your house? It is, but I left because I left my parents' house. I wasn't living down in Pompano anymore. Where are you living now? I was living in Florida. Florida? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Miami. And Miami? You, it was just like on your own or with your friends? Boyfriend. Okay. You seem like you're disappointed. Very. <laughs> yeah? How long did you know him? Who? Your boyfriend. Oh. We've been together for like a year and some months. <sighs> Maybe two years. December. Okay, so you guys are still together? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. Mm, it's complicated. Yeah? Yeah. Is he messing around? Or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple wives. I'm just not part of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes in... He's Muslim. The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh B'Shem Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Oh, so he's uh, Jewish? Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. Right? No. I ended things like, what, a couple days ago? A couple days ago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what, what does he do for work? Okay. At first, he was selling. Uh, now I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. He was there. Who are you living with then? I'm back at my mom's house right now. I'm, I was trying to get my life back in order, so I was back at her house. You're trying to pe press fast forward on that? Get a life back together? Yes, man. Is that exactly what happened? Exactly what happened. You know you want something to go by faster than it's supposed to because it's taking forever. Yeah, it's like let me press the fast forward button yeah. and make this happen. Yeah. It's tough. So you do know you worked for a really big corporation, right? Is there a reason why you're like, oh they're so big they won't know? That kind of the thought process? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I was really just trying to get my life back in order. I, I, can't, I can barely hear you. I said, I don't know, honestly. I was really just trying to get my life back in order. Yeah? <laughs> just trying to yeah. make it quicker than it was supposed to. So, there's one good thing that could come out of this. And looks like you you want this to be the first and last time this ever happens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, I don't tell this to a lot of people because a lot of people that I sit across, they, they're legit criminal. Like, they're career offenders and they're, they're career criminals and whoever, your first time offense, what I can do is give you the opportunity and say, hey, Sarah, clean your plate. <laughs> That's what I want to do. <laughs> okay. So let's do that then. Unfortunately, this is how we had to meet. You know? So, <coughs> you've been working there since right after your birthday, right? At Walmart. When did you, like, start 
either taking items or kind of take caring. I don't know if he had family come through, you know, um, or when you started taking money, you know, when did it start? I think it is, it had to start this month. This month? This month is no, June. No, not June. I'm thinking it's May. May, I meant. Sorry. It started in May? Yeah. You think beginning of May, end of May? What Probably do you think? Probably the beginning. Beginning of May? Mm-hmm. Um, and what did you start with? Like, what did you first start taking? At first, I took a couple hygiene stuff because I didn't have money for it. And I just started working here. I bought hygiene stuff. And then, started taking money. Wasn't going to. The only reason is because, oh. Um, back in 2021 decided to open up a credit card in my name being I knew what a credit credit card was but I didn't know how it functioned so I played around with it Be- I was young so I didn't mm-hmm. know which messed up which made me go into debt 21 years old in debt how much debt did you go into? Um, I'm at 5000 already so how much, well first time you took money, how much did you end up taking? It, ha- it, w- it was one something. One thousand something? It was a, it was, was it a thousand? Probably was a thousand. Okay. That was like beginning of May. Yeah. Um, and how were you doing it? Um... Is it kind of like the same way you were doing it today? Like where you kind of leave it underneath the register? Yeah. Is that exactly how it started or was it some other way? No, that's exactly, that's exactly how it started. Okay. Um, so you started taking like a grand, a thousand. <coughs> In the beginning of May, um, do we do it like on every shift? Yeah, every shift. Every shift a thousand. And how many days were you working? How many days was I working? Um, my schedule wasn't a set schedule, so some th- some days I was off. I'd be off two days. Some days I'm off one day. So, really so roughly, you're working like yeah. four or five days a week. Mm-hmm. So about you were taking about four or five grand a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then today. What the all the money that was in your purse, right? How much of that was just today? Was all of it pretty much all Walmart's? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. The one that was Walmart was stuck together. The one that was Walmart was mine. Was, was that purse. from your previous stuff that you had done? No. Mm-mm. That's my was well, the one I went to the bank for. That's the one you got a paycheck for. Yeah. And you got paid out in hundred. Yeah. Because I had to pay the light bill, so I went to the bank. Give me one, um, one, one thirty something plus change. That was mine. The change that's in there, that's mine. The one that's with... So $130 is yours? Yeah. That's mine. Whatever that was in the pile is my money. And then a, a bundle of like $800? Then that's my money. That's for a car. That's okay. not theirs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um... Then there was approximately, I think it was like, let's say five, four, four or five thousand that was on a bundle today. That they took, yeah, that's and theirs. That bundle. Is that more or less the size of bundles you would take? Yeah, that'd be less. Today was a lot, but it's less, yeah. It's less? It's less. Gosh. So today was less. No, today wasn't less. Today was more. Oh, okay. Today was more. Less, yeah. Usually take less. Okay. Um, <coughs> today was, unfortunately, the day that. Which is crazy because tomorrow it was going to be the day I'll <sighs> go get my license to go to the bank and then pay off the five grand. What did you end up doing with the other? Uh, well, if 
I do the math, like every other week, you do four or five. So over the course of the month of May, that puts you at like ten grand. Mm -hmm. Um. So th what did you do with that then? I also have T-Mobile. I was paying. I had a job. Remember, I quit because I left my parents' house. Uh huh. So I was in debt with T-Mobile too. Uh -huh. That was three thousand dollars, and I started there off one by one. I got me a new phone, but it's not with them. It's with Boost Mobile. Uh -huh. So I started doing little payments with T-Mobile. That's when I was gonna go to the bank and finish that off. So you you so you paid a couple grand to T-Mobile. You paid a couple grand to Boost Mobile. You said no. I said I didn't wanna. I I'm not gonna say like I left T-Mobile. I just stopped paying them because yeah. I didn't have the money to. Mm -hmm. them pay for my phone bill. So I just came to T Mobile. I'm not with T Mobile anymore. I mean I'm with I just came Boost. to Boost Mobile. I'm okay. not with T Mobile anymore. Okay. So what'd you end up doing with the rest of the money? Like did you pay rent? Did you help your mama? Did you give it to your boyfriend? Yeah, what'd no, you do? It's my mom. How much did you end up giving it to her? I don't remember how much I was giving it to her. She didn't ask you like, Hey where are you getting this from? If she did, and I would say, Mommy, I would say, Mom, don't worry about it. Because that, that bundle today was just four. And if other, every other day you were doing a thousand, you're looking at about <coughs> just doing simple math. Five, ten, skip, fifteen. Probably in the range of like twenty two grand. I'm just I'm just basing like first week. Let's say if you start in the first week. It of can't May. be twenty two grand. No. It's not that. Okay. How much you think? I'll say ten for right now. Ten. Yeah. Ten grand. Yeah, I'll say ten nine. Okay, ten. including the four grand today. Yeah. So once once you get down to the jail. Till, till that's where they'll allow you that phone call. Oh, and don't it take time? Yeah, they process and do all that stuff. If you want, I can call on behalf of you and let them know what's going on. If that's what you'd like, right. just so your family kind of knows what's going on. You know the thing is, um, for bond. Uh huh. How does that work? The judge decides the bond, so you'll have an arraignment in the morning, and then you'll be in front of a judge. We know what they do. They look at your criminal history. Okay, she's been living here for the last 21 years. This is a first-time offense, you know, and it's going to be up to the judge. Okay? All right. Okay. Absolutely.